And today I'm going to try out the Philips One Blade. Um, I already have a couple of things that I've used. You may have seen them. And this is this little buzzer um, with adjustability and uh, has a bunch of other attachments. I'll pop that up in the corner. You've also seen me use my fairly new Remington HC4250, I think. Anyway, this shaves uh, the neckline pretty well if you want that five o'clock shadow. But uh, I want to try something new for the neckline and see how well this does and kind of do a little comparison here. And this was actually on special. These two normally at $37 together. So a two pack of blades plus the Phillips and uh, three stubble combs. And I think it just has the one blade for 25 bucks. So it's not that bad of a deal. So let's pop this open. That was a lot of work. Maybe this is one of those items they should offer with frustration free packaging. Uh, it comes with a uh, save $10 on your first two pack replacement, which I already did. Let's take a look what's in here. Okay, we got the one blade. We got uh, one of the stubble combs. Nice packaging. A little manual here. A little charger. Now, looking at this. No, it's not the same. It's a little bit uh, smaller. I was thinking it was a similar charger. And then we have a uh, couple other stubble combs in here. Take those out. Different lengths. And this looks like a cover here yeah, to protect the blade. I hear these blades are really fragile, so you got to be careful. Let's pinch this. Pull this up. And it'll last up to four months on the battery according to the instructions. So it seems to have a good charge. Just to get an idea, I don't know if you could see how thin that blade is. So this thing should get really close to the skin. Hopefully without cutting. And it's one of the cones, I'm gonna leave that in there. So let's uh, give this thing a shot. So I guess I wanna do a little side by side underneath and uh, show you. I got a towel actually in the sink. There's going to be so much hair in there that uh, I don't want to clog it up. So it'll be a little bit of mess to clean up later. So first I'm going to try it with uh, my side trimmer here. Not bad. This thing's about 15 years old. Let's go with the Remington and take off the blade guard. Doesn't take much with that uh, head trimmer because it's so wide. You can see what kind of a good job that does. Now the real treat with the Remington one blade and go underneath. And it's got two blades, one top and bottom, so let's see what happens. Off the bat, I see it needs a couple of passes in order to compete with some of the other ones. Just uh, the blade uh, is so small and thin, it needs a couple of passes, but it still does a good job. Let's complete the job. It is taking several passes, so is it cutting close? Sure, but after a couple of passes. going to be a good opportunity to try and use the combs that it comes with see how well it does surprising the comb did fairly well on this side of my head not so much here missing those strays overall it did a pretty good job it was a lot of effort to get there though. Um, it was kind of also hard to sneak up on the sideburns and you wouldn't think it'd be that big of an issue with the blade that's really that thin. I felt, found that I had to go up, down, across, every which way. Now I may be asking a lot of this because I did have a really good beard coming in there. 
um, it is lightweight it uh, did again a pretty good job and it got really short shorter than my 15 year old or 14 year old buzzers here would have done and closer than this this leaves like a five o'clock shadow but this was meant to shave my head not my neck but it does a pretty good job so first five minutes impressions would I buy this again probably not um, it does an okay job I'm gonna have to probably go back over it again because I find that there's some longer stray hairs that it didn't quite catch so for me again I may be asking too much maybe I have to have a much shorter beard or whatever but I've seen some of the commercials and my beard wasn't well it was longer but I would have expected a little better I'll have to see in the future if I can get this to work better the way I want it to um, but that being said for me I don't think I would buy it again I'll have to decide if this is right for me and if I have to return it anyway thanks for watching if you like this video if it was helpful please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one